Let me explain some of the physics behind why putting the engine behind the driver enables us to make a quantum leap forward in driving dynamics. A mid-engine architecture allows for a very short, straight, stiff steering system. It's 50% stiffer than today's car. And that makes the driver's input to the chassis nearly instantaneous. The new seating position places the occupant's center of gravity right on top of the vehicle's center of gravity, so the car literally rotates around you in a turn. It completely changes the perception of vehicle handling and responsiveness. It also allows us to engineer higher performance chassis calibrations while simultaneously improving ride quality. Historically, cars with rear weight bias struggle to get to neutral and progressive vehicle handling. We were determined to get all the benefits of that weight distribution without any of the drawbacks. We did that by putting untold hours into the design of suspension geometry, bushing compliances, tire construction, and the front to rear stagger of the wheel sizes. There's actually a lot more than that to it, but I can tell you the final result is magic. The driving dynamics of this vehicle are better than we thought they would be. Today's car, today's Corvette, gets excellent marks for ride and handling balance, but the Stingray is a whole new deal. No Corvette has ever felt so comfortable, nimble, and so completely stable. I can't talk about the suspension without talking about its foundation, the body structure. The main structure is aluminum and makes the most use of high pressure die casting in General Motors history. The six largest castings are enormous. These high pressure die cast precision parts have superior material properties more design flexibility than traditional castings. They are used throughout the car to minimize the number of joints and put the material exactly where it needs to be for maximum stiffness and minimum mass. They are the key to making this the stiffest Corvette in history, which in turn contributes to great driving dynamics. We've been using a center backbone strategy since 1997, but for the 2020 Stingray, it has been completely redesigned for a mid-engine configuration. In addition to great structural feel, customers will notice very low rockers, which allow for easy entrance and exit, compared to other mid-engine uh, designs featuring a tub-type construction. Beyond aluminum, we're using many innovative materials in many strategic places. Corvette has always been a mosaic of premium materials, and this one's no different. We pick the material that optimizes the performance of each component. 